Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, Cursor has released Cursor CLI and many of you were asking me in comment section and on Instagram that whether you should move to Cursor CLI from Cloud Code or whether this Cursor CLI have the capability to beat Cloud Code or not. Okay, but before that, let me show you one diagram. Here you see one is the left diagram, another one is the right diagram. So if you can understand this diagram clearly then you will get your answer here you see this is your code base and this is one id vs code this is cursor and this is windserve and all of this id are using this anthropic there may be gemini model there may be open ai models okay so one thing is clear that all of these ids are using third party models and they don't have their own models right but if you see in case of cloud code it is your code base and it is the cloud code and this cloud code is using your code base and this cloud code also using anthropic and uh, these cloud models are the product of anthropic right and anthropic also loves cloud code cloud code right now one thing we can be sure that if anthropic release any new feature or anything uh, that is for the cloud code users only then in that case this feature will not be available for cursor or windsor or vs code right now if you talk about that whether this cursor cli is based now we know that cursor had their own id but they now released this new cli tool right now in case of cli tool first let me show you that how to install it this is the installation procedure if you just copy this command and go to here and just paste it and it will install that installation complete it will give you two steps first one is a these steps so just copy this thing okay copy this thing and paste it in your here terminal and after that this cursor agent will be assigned to your system variable now you can check whether cursor agent or cursor CLI got installed or not. This is the command cursor agent hyphen hyphen version. You will get this version. And after that, this is the cursor hyphen agent. If you just write and press enter, you will get this kind of interface. Okay. Now here, one interesting thing is that if you just uh, write slash, you will find this option like model, auto run, new chat, clear, vim, and this uh, feedback, resume and etc etc but there are nothing that much fancy comments so if i just write or if i just select this model then you will get this gpt5 access for free currently they are providing and all of that uh, models of clot clot popular model sonnet 4 and opus 4.1 these are currently available okay but if you go to this clot code and if i just write slash here you see there are many important things important comments you will get and one of the important comment is slash agents and with the help of slash agents you can easily make the sub agents this feature is missing in cursor cli and why this slash agent is, is important i have already made one video uh, this cursor sub agent so if you see that video then you will understand that with the help of this sub agents feature you can easily make a ai team for your project one uh, person or one agent is for the front end development one agent is for the architecture one agent for the back end development one agent for the testing another agent is for the review so in this way you can make your whole ai team and uh, you can manage that okay but in case of cursor cli you cannot do that right and also there are important uh, comments like slash hooks where is that this hook is also important for tool calls okay and not only these two hooks or uh, sorry not only does these two comments there are more important comments also uh, that you will find helpful slash init if you want to uh, initialize a new code base and in that case you it will create that cloud.md file where you can write your information what is the plan what is the project structure of that project and this is very much helpful that we all know right and also there are mcps uh, integration there are memory and blah 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 there are many things okay 
but cloud cli only have this model otherwise the comments that it has i don't think there are that much helpful and means in your daily life it will not uh, you will not use that okay so why will you go to this cursor cli right cursor cli is currently only in beta mode they just have introduced this means terminal access otherwise it doesn't have any fancy things that i think okay and another thing is that i was showing you this diagram because if you see that some days ago when gorg 4 was released in that time they also released that gorg 4 is available in cursor and Elon Musk commented one thing that please fix the cursor GORG communication flow because at that time people were complaining that GORG 4 is not a good model, GORG 4 is not giving the correct output. But when I tested the same thing on their official website GORG.com and I tested the same thing in cursor, I found a lot of difference. And then I understood that if any provider, uh, this GORG is a model provider and cursor is the that uh, id so the communication between this cursor and gorg if there is any gap then this cursor will not serve the best output and people will say that gorg 4 is not a good model right and also here you see cursor currently lobotomizes gorg with non-essential intermediate communication steps if these get fixed using cursor will be better so that means that i was telling that if there is an issue between the communication and between the setup uh, this third party provider and this id then you will say that this model is not good so similarly in this case also uh, you will see some kind of uh, difference so if you use this clot code you may see that this clot 4 model is performing better but if you use that same model with cursor it is not performing that much good okay so in this case you will surely prefer this cloud code right because cloud is the best model i am talking about cloud not the gpt5 because uh, okay one thing is that if you want to use the gpt5 also in cloud code then also you can do that simply go to this open router and use this gpt5 model now how to use that go to our channel code digit scroll down below and here you will find this cloud code and coen3 coder integration so in this video i have already shown you that if any model supports tool calling ability so you can use that model in cloud code also okay so if you are saying that this gpt5 cannot be used in cloud code this is the wrong thing you can use this model because gpt5 has the tool calling ability so you please watch this video in this video, I have uh, already shown you that uh, how to integrate any model. Like I took that this Coen3 coder for example, and I integrated this Coen3 coder with the cloud code. Okay. So in the same way, you have to do this GPT-5 integration. Not only GPT-5, any model which have the tool calling ability, you can use that model. Okay. In cloud code. So this is the thing that uh, it, it is obvious that uh, if any cloud code user use this cloud 4 model then they will get surely some best advantage because anthropic know that the uh, one user is using their product cloud code but another user who is using cursor they are uh, they are not using that cloud code they are using just api and in that case you may not get the full potential of that model this is uh, completely my opinion. I have faced this issue personally. So that's why I am saying this. Okay. Your opinion might be different. But this is a thing. And uh, if you want my opinion. Whether you should move to cursor CLI or not. I am not moving to cursor CLI. Because it is currently in beta. It doesn't have that any fancy feature. So I will just continue with the cloud code. And uh, also cloud code have their pro subscription. Where, where you can. Um, integrate your $20 pro subscription API key and use that it is a pay as you go model that you can use it okay so this was the thing that I wanted to share with you guys I hope that you got to know many things from this video if you found any helpful information then just don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye and don't forget to watch the other videos also these videos are only for you guys only so that you can 
get the exact knowledge that what is happening the current information 